change. You're all professional around here. <clears throat> I learned that in Hollywood. I don't know why they always spell ambulance backwards so people can see it out of the rearview mirror. If the ambulance is wailing its siren and flying up to you and hitting that big horn, it goes long, long. And you finally adjust your eyes to the ambulance in your rear view mirror. Oh, my bad. Thank God it wasn't backwards, hon. We might have thought it was a tow truck. I'm really good at writing stuff backwards. See, this is frontwards. My TikTok's backwards. Uh, can't do that. You know? We were in chronic pain every day. I'll take chronic pain once every week or two. It's not even chronic. Probably a number three. Yep. No more shitty Samsung phone. Nothing but the best. This iPhone's so old, it still has that button you gotta press to get to the app screen. You don't just flick something. Maybe they still have them. I haven't had an iPhone in six, seven years. It was a newer model than this. What up, Burp Queen? Everybody subscribe to Kimmy Cola, loudest burper in the world. If you don't, we'll hunt you in your nightmare. You know? This looks a little better than Samsung. I'm telling you, the only thing that cherishes the blue eyes is the other Samsung for TikTok. I mainly got this phone because, um, I don't know why I did. You, you know, don't start with that, Ryan. Okay. All right. Whose video am on TikTok? I'm going to do a nice duet for you guys. <laughs> Whose channel is it on? Is it the one with the toilets? <laughs> this is going to be funny. It's on your channel, Ryan. Mr. Show Nice. He's got an iPhone. So oh, let me try it myself. I'm going to type in shoe nice real quick and see what it comes up as. Oh, I got to be on another phone to do that. I don't know why they make the SIM card tray so small and difficult. You know? I needed a mouse to put that thing in. My hands are just too bad. Yeet. Ryan, yes, I'm excited. Oh, you're going to love this too, I. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Should have done it earlier. I'm going to have a sign. I'm going to hold up a sign, too pretty cool it's Ryan Anthony and Mikey Ryan Anthony Mike Ram that's why I'm gonna be a beast when I box at the age of 55 you know mm. hey buddy before we start boxing can you watch this side appreciate I told you. They think you're hot. Oh, that's good. 
I like college chicks, you know. Maybe they can sub to my YouTube. You guys look like studs. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's probably some color thing that I can go to and make it more like colorish. I got another 24 hour delivery for Cameo. I just did three, and I think I'm going to get ahead of Hank Schrader right now. I mean, I'm going to be in the 30s. I think I am in the 30s. But um, Tixer, Cameo will love the, the it's just the voice and everything sounds so much better. I don't drink, dude. I'm high as a kite. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, bro. I'm going to rip up some freaking dabs and stick them right in the bong on top of weed. It's not really dabby-dabby. It's half dabby. So you don't need the torch. And shh, you melt it with a lighter. Sweet home, Alabama. Oh, you said blink? Yeah, you thought I didn't blink? I just do that when I eat stuff in front of you. I don't know. I got to concentrate on your soul as I put catfish stink bait in my bowl. I'm going to try it again. I'll hit the Walmart. And if the fishing section has some catfish stink bait, we'll do it. I was going to make a catfish stink bait or stroming sandwich. That'd be epic. Whew. Pretend it's like caviar. You know what I mean? 35 days sober. We're going on, you know, about 10 more days. We beat like or at least 60 times we quit. And they never went past like a month. <laughs> I went six years and I got thrown out. I drank that night. And I did eight months, and then um, we're at 35 days. So we get to like 50 days, we beat everything but eight months. In a year, we'll have to beat the sixth year. You know what I mean? I might have a beer again sometime in my life, but I don't even need it. Wizzy, why do you always come in and make up dumb stories like that? I'm surprised you're not saying he's dead. You know? Any tips to stop the... Yeah, don't be a pussy. Okay. Man up. It's just a liquid. Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> don't drive by beverage centers and liquor stores or the bar that you played pool at. All your friends are all going to be losers. And you're going to be, you know, a sober loser. You no. Know? Did I just call you and your friends losers? Yeah, man. Keep drinking, dude. Get a job, dude. I, I sent Cameo, bro. How am I getting all these fancy apartments and chronic cash and all this other stuff, dude, if I'm not working? You know? The lawsuit's been long going. Let you nice as life be a lesson. This is what living with no concerns from this guy, man. He's been around forever, man. Just, I'm just going to block you, dude. You know what I mean? Anyway. That's why I don't go outside, because most of you are losers, you know? But we're going to have a happy country again. There'll be a few people pissed off, you know them hippie ass lesbians that march for abortion <laughs> you're not even gonna get pregnant what are you marching about your body most you're gonna give birth to is a cucumber coming out the back of your ass you can say that june's over with <laughs> oh, shit. trump's gonna throw everybody out you protest and you're here as a you know visiting college student he's sending you home light a dumpster on fire it's going to be a felony now it's block traffic in the street and it's going to be immediately you know moved out and they're all going to get arrested for a felony you know what I mean oh Ryan I'm going to do the duet I hope you guys all enjoy it
Wizzy must be a pussy. Nothing will change in my life. I'm changing my own life, dude. What's your problem, puppet? You've been around for a decade. Nothing's going to change. I'll do whatever I want. I'll succeed, and you'll always be my little bitch on a couch. Always remember that, John and Ted. You guys are my puppets forever. He's, you've written the same shit. The new gen don't care, dude. I got 10,000 Snapchatters. You know, teaching them all about you nice. Every generation. You know, the kids I stalked are all in their late 20s now, married with a house, and now we got another batch. So it'll be a 40 year span of me showing people while I'm alive, and then the generations that'll show their grandkids. Just like the Brady Bunch, you know what I mean? Uh, the Tosh generation, eight years ago we came around. It was good times and it was bad times. I lost my main YouTube like six times and then I finally just disappeared. Somebody in YouTube hated me and somebody liked me on YouTube and they battled back and forth. They just hit an on and off button for my channel. We do apologize. Your content has been restored. We do apologize. Your content has been restored. We do apologize. We can't recover your account, but you can use your backup. We put ads on it. Our apologies. Best of luck. Yeah, big lawsuit, you know. Just the overall... <laughs> Mental abuse, the libel, slander, defamation of all my haters. I report them and YouTube allowed it. I can cry in front of a jury. And I don't need to be caught in onions. Uh, what happened with Ethan Klein? I don't know. I heard he got backed over by a lawnmower. It was this one of them little plastic ones this kid was using. I guess he's got a little scratch on his fupa. <laughs> oh, but all right, man, we're here for sales too, guys, because you guys are cheap here. So $6 cameo, we're on the iPhone now. You can tell the difference. And um, go buy some shoe nice Solana. We just gave a gift out, three Solana for somebody, some chick. She ate the most mayonnaise. Oops. Invest a little now in Shoe Nice. And you know, Shoe Nice in the name is never going to go wrong as a Bitcoin. I got these, this dude's working on all kinds of events. He just had that contest. He's like really helping me out a lot. Shoe Nice, SOL. It's a scam when you do it and then you just walk away from it. You take all that money and then you just give up on the um, coin. Not me. Everywhere you go, people want to know who we are. We are tigers. Mighty, mighty tigers. Shoe nice, if you promise to hang out with me for four hours, I'll pay you $300 and supply you with any substance you require. Where you at? What state? I know, right? But if it's money, let him go this time. Oh, he wants me to come visit him? Mute him. <laughs> All I seen was 300. I thought we were going to talk on the phone for four hours. You know what I mean? Hi. Good, good. So tell me a little bit about your life. We almost lost this thing. We're going to still use you. Don't worry about it. We might do TikTok with the other phone still. Where did you go, you little rubber thing? I know you're around here somewhere.
He sounds about the same, though. Who's that, Boogie? <sighs> Thanks for reminding me. I'll look good if I get on the show tonight. <laughs> oh, I'll have to use my other phone. It's got the. Uh, I'm not going to put all these apps on this phone. I got three phones now: Xfinity, T-Mobile, Magnum, <laughs> T-Mobile, Samsung, Magnum. That's the name of a sheath. You know what I mean? Boogie can't even get out of his stinky ass she she sheets seat. Oh man. It's not funny, but I just always wondered how really fat people or muscular guys on steroids wipe their butt. They can't even touch the top of their shoulder, you know? Do they have Dubois? Dubai? Boudet? Do they have Baudets in Spain? <laughs> Usually Europe has them, but they you know, saves on toilet paper. I think it makes a mess, you know? They're not lying, bro. T-Mobile iPhone 15, I wish. <laughs> this has letters at the end, dude. <laughs> there ain't no numbers yet. You own the nice, you own nothing, bro. You own your own pitiful existence. What's up, Joseph Turtle? I know a turtle. Turtle, turtle. His name's Ted Barris. Biggest loser in the world, man. Turtle, turtle. He's been coming after me for 12 years. Email death threats. I got your number punched. I'll be there next month. I guess my next death day is um, in October. October's going to be my last day. He must be getting his license back or something. <laughs> you ought to see the death threats from Live Leak. In Live Leak DMs and on my email. UK people are evil. You wake up every morning and the first thing you do is go watch death. And that's all you is in your head is death. I, I still have images of... Live league vids, I, I cannot get out of my head. You know. What are you, what are you saying? You own a Snickers bar? <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're all kinds of characters. We know that, dude. You did blackface, MS-13 face to make the kid commit suicide. You always say shoot nice lines. Hey, everyone, Wheezy again. God, your face is so annoying. I just want to bring your eyes in like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't fight, dude. You're a pussy. I seen you hit a punching bag, dude. You fell into it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm Richard Simmons. Rest in peace, Richard. You know what I mean? You're not even close to Wheezy. Send me a dollar cash app to prove it's you, because you would. You know what I mean? I'm all about crypto, Weezy. I got money in my pocket, money in the bank. I got blocks of dabs, bro. I'm back in my Denver connection. That's shit you don't get at the counter. You know? Nah, I'm not saying that. I say that enough in Cameo. I don't even know what that means, dude. Sounds like something gross. Mm, see you later. Wait, who left? Ooh, 86,000 seconds. Get counting, Wizzy. <laughs> Order 66 on your butt. You need to pay more attention to my fans. All right, I'm going to pay total attention to you, dude. Blocked forever. I don't do that for everybody. Okay? <laughs> now that's comedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I laughed. I should leave this YouTube running all damn night. 
know what I mean? Right on this iPhone. Oof. Nobody says oof anymore, dude. You know what oof spelled backwards is? You're a pussy. Hey? Foo. Foo fighters. People need to realize they can like and more people will get recommended. And up yours. People are scrolling through YouTube and they stop because they see that name. Which could be bigger. There we go. This is what I look like in the street except my eyes aren't, you know, like the vampires from that Kristen Stewart movie, Twilight. God, she's a terrible actress. They all were in the end. The father, the cop, where'd they find him? Fucking some studio audience. Oh, I got scotch tape in within hand's reach. That's weird. You know what I mean? How satisfied are you with the assistance you received from T-Mobile? Uh, I was on hold until I figured it out myself. That SIM card thing, man, that's a bitch. I mean, poking the hole in the thing, that's fine, but the tray from a Samsung into an iPhone's different. You gotta lay it just perfect. Has everybody subscribed to my YouTube? Thumbs up my five current videos? Done anything to support me? Other than just staring. It's freaking creepy, man. I used to get drunk every day. We'd be in we'd be in bed by like what two thirty in Vegas, drinking at seven. They were rough mornings, man. You didn't go through Vegas with me. I don't even know you. I don't have to e-bag, do I'm a crypto king. I just get money sent to me from some dude, and I cash it in. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get over the breaking point where I can take out a thousand or two here and there. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> I had the last vodka this morning. Yeah, that was always a good thing. Just stay drunk. You feel fine. I actually get the shivers from thinking about the smell and taste of vodka. Ugh. Marge is here. Marge is never going to leave me. Appears. I'm not coming to India. I can't stand the smell of curry in your trains. Everybody's got to ride on top. How the hell do you even get up on there, man? Just go um, type in crowded trains in India. It's freaking chaotic, man. Where are they all going? There's not one chick in the crowd. Who's making all these babies? Slow down, India. You're the biggest polluter of the world. You know what I mean? I went through Nebraska. I think. <laughs> Curry socks. Which country? Where am I from? What do you think, dude? Do I sound like a little bitch from the UK? A little pussy from Finland? A little crybaby from France? Palace, three bottles of vodka between the two of us and a shit ton of whole beer. It's not a bad buds. <sighs> yep, Denver forever. VA got me another apartment. I should have never left this place. Same complex. 
Steve, we don't even talk about that anymore. We know. He picked J.D. Vance, too. Veteran. Dude from Ohio. So we're going to get that battleground state. Trump Vance. Can't wait to see the poster. Because Biden Harris can bite my well, I don't really have a hairy ass. I shave my whole body. It's weird. It's just been a thing I've done since high school wrestling. Yep. Just don't flush, number one. Dude, you got some old guy next door watering his plants and everything every day worried about pissing in the sink. I got all kinds of dabs. Well, I'll give you my address. Email me. <laughs> I don't hang out with humans in real life, dude. You're annoying. After the first couple dabs, I'm stoned. I just look at you like, what is this guy rambling on about? Shut the frig up. Then I just leave. I'm a registered sex offender in Ohio, and I'm voting for somebody like myself, Biden. Whatever, bro. <laughs> You're all in for child sex trafficking across the border and shit? That's cool, man. See you on the train out of here. Everybody from Hollywood, I'm going to move out. They said that the first time. I'm moving to Canada if Trump gets realized. No, you ain't, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we're going to have serious military power again. No dudes running in female sporting events. See that one kid? <laughs> Blew away the whole field by like a quarter mile. Beat the school record and almost the college record. Come on. In the female division. He would have been last place if he was in the males. I don't even know what that word means. I'm not going to say it. It sounds weird. It's like dingleberry. We're just all sitting here staring at each other. I don't understand. Thoughts on WNBA? I love Caitlin Clark. She did the, and they gave her a technical foul. You know? And the WNBA was nothing. 3,400 seat stadiums, and now they're moving them over to the NBA stadiums. There, you know? The bigger ones. I didn't know she was a lesbo. I mean, that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah, she does seem like one. Yeah, yeah I see that. Her father eggs her on. He does it in the audience. The good ones in the world? Shoot, nice. Kimmy Cola. Give me a minute. I'm stuck. Glad I'm not alone. Get to 55 and live the life I've lived, dude, and you'll appreciate being single. <laughs> Trust me, dude. I had to be the center of everything. I was the dude that tapped the keg. I was always first at the White Snake Molly Crew concert, general mission on the floor when the guys tested out the microphone, and I thought that dude was so cool. Dustin, Dustin, one, two, three. No way. What happened? He's going to have an ear like Evander Holyfield. He did have a hole in that thing, though, man. I mean, his head was like this, bullets coming, 
and he happened to turn and it skimmed his ear. That was a dead on shot. He turned just in time. God turned his head. The Lord Jesus Christ saved Trump. You know what I mean? Oh, glad you're not alone. I see what you mean. Why don't you just Google it? I'm sure there's a slang for skibbity do. Shoo shoo. Amen. I'll put some money in the church basket as it comes along. Me and my brothers, we had to go to Russian church on Sunday with our Russian grandmother, and she'd all give us a little envelope with money in it to put in the basket the guy would pass down. I like Russian Orthodox because they don't have a bunch of pedophiles like the Catholic Church. I just say how it is, you know. Billions of dollars have been paid out. Somebody got altered. That's why they're called altar boys. And parents don't care. They're so in love with God and their church, you know. Deal with it, son. <laughs> P.O. Box. I don't need shirts, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's funny. P.O. Box. Yeah, I'm going to give out a P.O. Box to the public. I already did that in 2012, and I got a dead squirrel. I think it was dead. I mean, I think it was real. I just threw it out. It was kind of like, looked like somebody taxidermist stuffed it. Like that little squirrel on that movie with Chevy Chase. Hmm. Um, my, let's not talk about anything like that. You're disgusting. Dude. Let's talk about shoeism. Shoeism. We save souls, smoke bowls, and crush trails. Let us pray. Eee. Sims tickle. I tickle your belly at the end of the prayer. <laughs> we need that goat back. Gotta talk to Zilly, man. He's gotta take an hour. Show some shoe nice respect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, well, you know. I don't even know if he has the goats in The Sims anymore. Can you give me my mod back? Not a problem, dude. I was wondering where you went, dude. I accidentally hit blocked forever. I don't know how to go back in. Which Family Guy character am I more like? Hey, Chris. He thought I was him. Peter, dude. You think I like Stewie? That wasn't Stewie. Grumpiers. That's the Simpsons, Marge. No, I'm not eating scotch tape here. I'm not getting... I don't think that would be muted on YouTube Live. <coughs> Scotch tape has edges. No matter how much you chew it up when you swallow it, it cuts the insides of your esophagus. A lot of abrasives going down this throat. Toilet paper is an abrasive. Game pleasure up yours. Not one gift today, you cheap mofos. I'm getting paid because YouTube now pays you for streaming, but I'd rather have 500 people in here than people that have like 20,000 watching them on a stream. Just the checks alone on the revenue, not counting all the capsules they get. I mean, if I was age three, I'd go live five hours every day. You know? Shoe nice in the flesh. I've been here forever, dude. A rare sighting is, yeah. Your mom not going down on some dude in a bowling alley parking lot. I don't know where it comes from, dude. I try so hard to be nice. Uh, 
I'm sure she's a really nice woman. Uh, I've done every challenge. You got me confused with LABs, bro. I've never not completed. It's been like two. I almost died on a hostess cupcake with cream filling. <laughs> I walked away from the camera. I thought it was it. Nobody was in the house. I somehow just got it out. Oh, yeah, I remember when the battery goes low. You got to turn off the box. It doesn't just disappear for you. But $6 cameos, you can get them done with a professional iPhone now. I'm probably going to use my Android for uh, TikTok streams, though. And I'll just use the iPhone for YouTube. Yeah, I pre-recorded this for you and your mom, Zach. You know what I mean? I don't think you can pre-record on YouTube and then stream it. Like TikTok, I don't know. It's always real, Zach. I don't even know how to do that, you little edited pussy-ass pencil dick bitch. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Just a name, Zach, with no K or H. You don't even have a profile pic and you're talking to me. This ain't alphabet soup. You know what I mean? This guy's coming in here with the name of acid, strychnine. That's why you chew on the acid, then you spit out the paper. You still get the acid, but you don't get that pumpkin feeling the next day. That's why I never understood that line in a Grateful Dead song. If I get home before daylight, I just might get some sleep tonight. No, you don't. You don't sleep for two days after a dead show. I'd probably just do mushrooms now. Ass is just too far out and lasts too long. I'd like to do some microdoses. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you a lemon bar I got from the dispensary buddy of mine. You can't buy this at the store like this. Taking the $800 I used to do booze with. Well, what the heck is that? That's little pot things. I was just in a dish with weed. Well, there's a stick of butter. Uh, that's beautiful. Is that what they call it, earwax? Because you got the real sticky gooey, and then you got this stuff that you can just put on top of weed and just melts. Like crack cocaine on cigarette ash. Come on, I know some of you are out there did that. <laughs> you can't talk like this on TikTok. No way. Dabbing, you just dabbing. I got a little fun. You got these little disposables now. You don't need to plug in the USB charger. You just open it and boom. You know. It's just a jewel. <laughs> this 
is that truck gonna start? <laughs> dudes dude yeah i know there's a dude that are addicted to me man evil dudes cookies that's in vegas i used to live right next to cookies and it's this color these are everywhere though get them in all different colors in every dispensary there's one on every corner now in denver <laughs> you got delivery whatever you want man what a time to be alive, I know. Assassination attempt on the legend. <laughs> they shouldn't even have an election. They threw out the f case in Florida already. They're, they're getting rid of all that shit. They went too far. Too far. Because there's a group that's above the Democratic evil. Of Obama, Hillary, and all the Bidens and everybody. There's another group. That's just, they, they control all that shit. Yeah, that kid was definitely taken in as a loner. And he was brainwashed by the CIA. And they set him up perfectly, and all he had to do was aim. He, Trump turned his head in time because it was a dead-on shot. I don't know what I'd be doing right now if Donald Trump died the other day. I'd be not as pissed as some people, but that could have caused some serious chaos. And now we're just going to fix the country and be like we used to be before. Woke. Prices will go down. $226. was what this guy paid for 45 items at Walmart when Biden came into office. He bought the same 45 items and it was 400 and something. Literally doubling. You know? The kids need their little Debbies. Oh. I need a little noise. <laughs> 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 J.D. Vance is going to be in the White House eight years after Trump, doing four years of epicness for the country. He's a veteran. <coughs> huh. Bong hits for Trump. I work at a grocery store and I see my life as a pitiful existence. Don't be so hard on yourself, Marty. All kinds of people waiting in line for you to leave. <laughs> I don't think I can ever work for a corporation or the man anymore. I don't think I can go somewhere and have to be on time. That's what causes most major accidents. Is that rush hour in the morning. People late and they're doing 80, 90 miles an hour putting makeup on, drinking their Starbucks. <clears throat> That's why they should have an hour lax. No matter what your job is, you have an hour to get there between 7 and 8. If you don't get there, then you're docked. I know, right? A bullet went through his ear. He just reached up and said, ow. And then he knew what to dock. But, you know, what do we got? God, 45 minutes with you people is like three hours. Because you're cheap. You don't support your people, your streamers, you know. I think money grows on trees. We smoke trees. But I appreciate you all stopping by when we leave here. Can you go grab a $6 cameo? We got the new iPhone, so it's nice quality. And just subscribe. 
and buy. Why wouldn't you buy shoe nice currency when that's going to be all there is in the world? You know? The dollar bill is going away, guys. Drug dealers use Snapchat now. That's so stupid, little Nick. Are you trying to be a rapper? Anything you're rapping is a Snickers bar. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Silver and gold. We're going to be to the barter system, bro. If food production completely fails and everybody's on their own and for their own martial law where, you know, you know you're not going to get in trouble and you're trying to feed yourself or your family, chaos. Um, I got a bar of gold and a bar of silver. I'm going to hit you in the head with it. What's that going to mean? You want land. You want chickens and sheep and cows and bulls, you know. That's where everybody's going to go after that last can of ravioli is caught in the street. I'll be at office packs. I'm going to get a glue fountain going. Dip some erasers in it like at a wedding reception. Computer paper, Elmer's Glow, it's all got nutrients. You eat a pine cone and you feel alive, you know? Especially the next morning. I'm right about everything. I'm shoe nice. Should be shoe right. You know what I mean? Just shoe it. Mountain shoe. It's when my head gets caught between a big set of titties. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the sweat between two big titties. Mountain do. Write a book, no problem. It's the night before Christmas and all through the house. Everybody high on meth, even the mouse. The buds were all hung by the chimney with care, hoping that St. Nick wasn't a hippie with long hair. Me on the couch, the wife in her bed, because I never slept with anybody. I toss and turn till I'm dead. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm going to come out with a Christmas album. Silent night. Don't make noise. We're high on meth. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Hey, shut that thing up down there. I got to work in the morning. The crystal before Christmas. Oh, now you're pushing it, dude. I don't smoke meth. Never did. Doesn't look fun. Looks like you're always after something or something's chasing you. I see one dude freak out. They had to tase him like five times. He was jumping like eight foot chain link fences like a monkey. I used to live in a trailer. The walls were so thin, you could hear a mouse get a hard on. I used to do that in open mics after I broke my back. It's pretty cool having a single wide trailer when the bills are due and you just drive the house up the street and hide behind the bushes. Me and my son went four-wheeling in it one time. We hit a tree stump, shot up through the bathroom. Had to climb a stepladder to take a piss until the insurance policy went through. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I can tell by his flannel t-shirt. You rip on the audience, it's a lot easier because it takes all the pressure off of you. I'm really good at that, especially when you can sit and you're not up yet and there's two more open mics before you to study the audience. 
How's everybody doing tonight? Good, good. Welcome to Vegas. You guys look like a happy couple. No, the couple behind you. You know, and everybody laughs, and I don't even need jokes. You know? I used to do open mics for Comedy Works in Albany on State Street. It wasn't like Jerry Seinfeld headliners or like state headliners, you know? They just had four or five of us that would come in and give you a prime rib and a baked potato when you um, because you, you know, a club owner doesn't want people to come in and just see the headliner and leave. They're not even done with their dinner. They come in and get their food and then they'll bring us up. Wow, that looks good. Is that prime rib? How much does that cost here? Yeah, I'm going to talk for like three minutes. I get a free one in the back. <laughs> you might want to try it. Here, come on, tell me a joke. I'm fucking serious, dude. <laughs> Damn, he got scared. And I'm pretty sizable guy, so somebody rushed the stage. You know, I just poof, drop them. And then I would do comedy for like, it was just music, open mic. But it was just open mic, but does everybody just play the banjo and read a poem? <laughs> and I'd get up and I'd be like, are you people fucking serious? <laughs> Not one of you can play the instrument in your lap. Uh, you know, what's up with these coffee mugs? With your name on them, you hang them on the wall? Jesus Christ. Because they were Wi-Fi places. So the college kids in Albany would go where they could get Wi-Fi. And they'd have like these coffee shops. They all had their big, I mean, like gigantic frothy things. <laughs> draw, draw a penis on mine. You know what I mean? Ooh, that scared me. Low battery. Gotta plug this thing in. We did that once. All the neighbors' kids, we all farted in an empty milk carton. <laughs> <laughs> with the top, like the big plastic one, and we chased the, the younger kid around. There was three Shuey boys, four Stewies, four boys across the lawn. Then you had Rick and Rob. You had Amy. The, they weren't really hanging out with us. It was all Shuey brothers. We used to unplug all the Christmas lights on the trees in the neighborhood. Yeah. Summer of 1945, when the greatest generation came home and had more babies than we've ever had in the history of America. Strict nine. Oh, I hate that feeling the next day. You know? You can't do it twice in a row. You can't take like a hit of acid and then take a hit of acid the next day and get the same trip. You either gotta double your dose or wait a day. I think shrooms are different. I think shrooms you can just wake up and shroom every day. That's just like a nice mellow trip. Has anybody seen Dead End Company in Vegas? You can go on TikTok and watch the people. It's crazy. They're all in their like 50s and 60s. These people in general admission, dancing, still popping heads. <coughs> There's something else that are at Grateful Dead shows. I can't remember what it's called. It's not ashes, acid, or shrooms. It's something that the deadheads do. I guess it's a really good eye. Not the purple drank, 